are we at the new bottom of where these prices can go or are we at the top? Is Blackstone buying out CCG telling you that it's the bottom or is it the top? Hi guys, this is Casey Haddock with Akusha Collectibles. Welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Blackstone, the large equity group. Throughout our time in numismatics, which hasn't been too long, but as of lately, there's been a lot of customers and people within the space that have been asking us, what's going on with numismatics? What's going on with gold and silver? So as of lately, we've been doing research and we've been looking into various things. And one thing that really got our attention was the buying of CCG in July of 2021 by Blackstone. Blackstone is a major investment group within the United States that invests in real estate, infrastructure, health science, and various other things. Um, their mission statement, let me read it off to you really quick. Their mission statement as, as a group is to create long-term value. They pride themselves on being a careful steward of their investors' capital. They have roughly $619 billion of assets under their management. With all of that various information and numbers, we think to ourselves, why are they interested in NGC and CCG to begin with? And if they're interested, what does that tell us? From our point of view, we think that it's a positive thing. I think they are going to invest, like they mentioned on their website, they're going to invest in technology, they're going to invest the training of employees, they're gonna work on processes, they're gonna put NGC and CCG out on social media, revamp their mobile, their mobile and digital presence. I think it means a lot of positive things for this space. And I think if they're willing to invest $500 million into this industry, they must see something from a long-term perspective. They have this confidence that physical collectibles are here to stay and they are going to continue to appreciate in value. So what does that mean to you as a as a coin collector? And we are, as coin dealers, we are a bit biased. You somewhat have to drink the Kool-Aid when it comes to being a coin dealer, being a coin um, collector. You can't be devoted to this without being confident in the industry. Hey guys, I wanted to take a break in today's video and thank a few people that have been buying off our website. This is a PCGS order, so don't worry about that, but uh, thank you, Anthony, for ordering off the website. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, Fernando, uh, uh, buying off the website. Got a few more people that bought stuff from Instagram, but uh, thank you guys again for all that you've done this year. Um, it's been awesome, uh, especially just with just all the support on YouTube lately. We're so thankful, but uh, let's get back to today's episode. And this is, this is a thought that we've had and a question for you guys. Over the past 18 months to two years, we've seen a drastic increase in collectible coins, collectible cards, and comic books. And our question is, are we at the new bottom of where these prices can go, or are we at the top? Is Blackstone buying out CCG telling you that it's the bottom, or is it the top? And what we've, we've come to understand is, with the uncertainty within the stock market and different financial markets within the world, in many instances, lost confidence in what they can't control. Stocks, equity markets, bonds, they have no control over that, even their own currency at times. So I think that people are flocking to these collectibles in the droves because they're wanting to touch something that is valuable, they're wanting to keep something that is valuable, and that's something that they can feel and control. And I think as we move into possibly more uncertain times, the value of these items is just going to continue to rise. Our assumption is if people are flocking to collectibles, demand is going up and supply is going down, raising prices. Knowing that information and the intentions of Blackstone, it's our understanding, well, and a concern of some other collectors within comic books and cards that the passion and the intention of the founding of 
NGC and these different collector groups was to focus on the hobby in general. With this new group coming in, our concern and his concern was that the collectible side will be diluted and it will become more commercialized to the point of possibly a corporate-like structure. So our thought process is if Blackstone is wanting to do these various things from advancing technology, improving CCG's digital presence, where is this money going to come from? And our assumption is all of this money is going to get passed down to their customers. And those customers being dealers and collectors that are looking to get their items certified. Hey guys, I want to take a quick break in today's video to show you these two buffaloes we got from Grapevine. Uh, you know, we were talking about Blackstone today, but I want to include some really nice coins uh, for you guys to take a look at. Both these coins are going in the Buffalo set, but like I said, just so honored uh, to be able to find great things like this at the Grapevine show. But without further ado, let's get back to the episode. A thing to consider with PCGS and NGC is that their prices and fees have been almost at a slow boil, keeping up with the space and the value of coins. Something to take into consideration is there's been many grading companies in the past that have tried to take this space and turn it into a corporate environment or commercialize it. And in doing that, they wasted a lot of money and they ended up failing. The reason why this is different is because Blackstone has taken on many businesses that they understood, redefined their processes, revamped their digital presence, integrated new technologies and has trained new employees and they have made these businesses stronger and better. Blackstone has done this so many times, not necessarily acquire a collectible company, but companies in general, that their likelihood of failing is a lot smaller than other companies that have tried creating a commercial grading service in the past. Essentially, this is what they do all day long and they are experts at it. So with the exposure that Blackstone is trying to bring to CCG, I think that we are going to see an explosion in many collectible spaces just because there's going to be a large group of society that is going to be exposed to advertising, digital marketing, and a larger digital presence on CCG's part. I think that it's going to be an exciting time and I can't wait to experience it with you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you got something to say about Blackstone, please leave a comment below. And please subscribe if you want to see more content like this.